In this video, we are gonna learn how we can create a glow countdown timer right inside of After Effects without using any third party plugin. Hey creators, I hope you are all doing well. As you all know, today we will learn how we can create a glow countdown timer inside of After Effects. And yet don't worry if you are a Premiere Pro user, I already posted a video on my YouTube channel to learn how we can create a countdown timer inside of Premiere Pro. So if you are a Premiere Pro user, I also mentioned the link in the description below, must check it out. So let's get started. First of all, we have to be create a new composition. So I'm just create a composition of 19 20 to 1080 height with a 30 frame rate just press ok and now we can create our new composition is done so first of all I have to be put as some background for that I'm just creating a new solids right there free hand to choose a color I just use a black clip and just press ok and now first of all you have to be putting us some of the numbers like a display countdown numbers for that I'm just go to the effects and presets if this effects preset not appears there don't worry about it just go to windows and here you got an option of effects presets my sure it will be checked and your panels appear right there so first of all I'm just searching numbers and here you can see under the text we got a numbers presets right there I'm just put this on my solid and now it just asks for fonts and style you have free hand to choose a fonts whatever you want but I suggest you one of the font that helps you a lot I'm suggesting you to choose digital display digital display is just looking like a original number so it obviously help you to make your countdown timer to make it more realistic so I'm just selecting a digital display I'm also mentioning the download link in the description below if you want to be download this phone I'm also putting uh, some of the clip of the font on my screen so in the alignment make sure you can be choose left and press ok and as you can be see a number appear on our screen so for that first of all I want to be make it bigger I'm just set the value to 450 and that's enough for me and I'm make it uh, alignment and as you can see it is not in a regular format for changing it I just go to types and now change it to time code you can be change the time code to any position whatever you want but I have changed it to 30 and as you can see it is now in the regular format and obviously obviously we just need minutes and seconds we don't need hours and nanoseconds so don't worry about it we just remove it later so first of all I have to be do some changings in numbers panels so first of all I have to be do make it more closer it is far away one number is far away from another number so I have to be make it close enough to make it more good so I just change a tracking to minus 3 and as you can see it's just looking like good is close enough to make it more realistic so I make it align whatever I want so here we go now we can be change it to fill color you have free hand to change the color you can be change whatever color you want actually I want a green color because I want to be make a countdown in a green color with a green background so that's why I choose a green color right so now I have to be removed the hours and nanoseconds for that I'm just uncheck this our composition layer and now I have to be select the rectangular tool and now select the numbers whatever I want so I want a minutes and seconds right under this rectangular so now I just go to here in our under black solids what uh, numbers we are adding and now we just press functional 4 f4 from our keyboard to getting a track right we go to track man and now we select a alpha matte shape layer 1 because we want to be remove all the hours and seconds we just selecting the area that's selected by the rectangles now we are selecting the alpha matte shape 1 and as you can see our just minutes and seconds appears there so if we are moving forward our numbers are increasing with the passage of time it means our time code working properly and now if you want to be adding some random numbers it will be changed with the every second passage of time and you can be check this random values obviously we don't need a random values we need our values that are starting from two minutes and will be decreasing from zero seconds so for that I'm just changing the values from starting from backward like moving or reversing for that I'm just 
press right click go to times and now selecting time reverse layer and now our time will be decreasing and now I'm just changing the value to value offset random to 2 seconds because I want to be adding the decreasing the value from 2 seconds. It just look like good. And now I want to be adding some of the glowness that is our main point to adding glowness in the countdown timer. For that I'm just going to effects search glow and now we got a glow. I'm just drop this on our main composition layer and as you can see a glowness added i have to be add some of the glow intensity changing uh it's a one i have to be changed it to 0 0.8 that's enough for me you can be changed according to your values according to your condition so the second option is the glow radius i have to be changed it to whatever it looks like good uh yeah that's good that's good for me and for glow threshold 60 is enough i think 60 is enough you don't need to be changed it and now our glow countdown is ready but there is something changes i have to be do i have to be adding some of the background to make it more realistic so our time code is green we need a some background that look like green or black obviously it look like uh, amazing for that i just make it uh pre-compose all of the layers we are creating and make sure we can be check move all attributes into the new composition and press ok and now we got a pre-composition we have to be make it a duplicate layer before adding some of the background we just do a something little bit more to make it more amazing we just press ctrl d to make it a duplicate and now we got a two composition at the first composition under the first composition we adding some of the Gaussian blur. I'm just going to presets, effects and preset and search Gaussian blur. And we got a Gaussian blur under the blur sharpness. And now I just drop it on my under layer. And now change the Gaussian blur's value to 130, 135 and 140 will be enough. I just putting a 130 and change the blur dimension to horizontal. It's not look like good, but don't worry. Just go to your compositions, press T and now change its opacity until it look like good. Yeah, that's that's cool. That's good. And now I have to be adding some of the background to make our time code more realistic. For that, I just creating a new solids again with the black color press ok and now i search gradient ramp I, I got a gradient ramp under the generate i drop it on my solid background too and now we got a two color mix up that is black and white so we got a black and white color we need a black color obviously black color is matched with every time called color but we don't need white color we need a green color instead of white we need a dark green so obviously we have to be changed the white color to dark green and yeah that's good and obviously it's not like good so we have to be move some of the black color to make uh, green colors right there and yeah that's cool now we can be changed to give it to a, as a background and as you can be see our time card appears with a beautiful background you can also do that with a premiere pro but it's a little bit difficult to do that that's why i'm do that in after effect with a easy way so it is the easiest way to adding a time code with a background and glowness and as you can be see your time code will be decreasing with the passage of time as we're going to do a reverse effect so yeah here is the video of today i hope you like this video if you like this video give me a big thumbs up and comment below if you have any question about premiere pro after effect any creative software ask me in the comment section everything will be appreciated thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one with another day with another video thank you